hi guys this is precious and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make use of your alx sandbox normally you can have more than one sandboxes here as it says you know one image two sandboxes spawned but the very important thing about the sandbox is like the sandbox is just like an online computer system for you whereby you'll be able to assess your online computer you know they've installed ubuntu for you for you on the sandbox so what you need to do is just to get it up and running and like it says here the ubuntu version is 20.04 so you can always download this if you want to replicate that on your offline computer and this sandbox comes pre-installed with vim mx call wget and all the needed um, packages that we need for our foundation program that is the first nine months so without talking too much let's get to it so the first thing you need to do is when you log in to your intranet look for this icon with the greater than and the slash which says sandboxes is just right here just below servers or just above peers this is it here this icon then when you click on it i just clicked on it so to get this page loaded the first thing you need to know so if you've not created a sandbox or if you've not started a uh, if you've not started any of the sandbox you're going to get this the first step is for you to click on run so i'm going to click on run and it's going to spin up my sandbox so spinning up the sandbox is like putting on your computer system but this time it is online on the intranet of alx now there are three ways in which you can interact with the sandbox and the very first one is the web term web term starts for web terminal so like you know already most of what we do will be using the web the terminal so ALS has been generous enough to create a web terminal for us and let's play around with it so right now i have my cursor blinking i can do anything i want remember our lesson from the command line so i can do lx to see what i have inside of here and i have some folders already i have some folders already we can cd into the home directory so i'm going to go into my home directory and i'm inside of home now i can list all i have inside there i have nothing here so i can go back or let me create a folder you know mkdir so i'll call this pressure i'll call this precious so there's a folder now called precious let's check it as you can see the folder is in there we can go into that folder and we can also probably create a file inside of that folder so touch i'll call this precious.txt i'm doing this so you know you can actually do everything that we do normally on our computer system also on the sandbox so lx let's see so we have the precious file created also you can access your editors i think so the first one should be vim and as you can see there you have it vim is on your screen right now so let's quit out of vim i just exited from vim also let's try emacs and there you have it our emacs editor is on our screen right now so you can actually see that so let me exit out of emacs so you can see that we have vim installed we have emacs installed and definitely uh we are definitely good to go so you can actually you know <laughs> there's nothing like close sorry so you can actually leave the terminal you could close it and let's go back to the sandbox now the other way in which you can interact with the sandbox is through sftp and to get sftp running all you need to do is just to open any of the command or terminals that you have on your computer so right now i believe you have a lot of terminals from you know command shell to command prompt to git bash even those that installed ubuntu on virtualbox they have terminals 
you know those that have sea green they have terminals there are all sorts of terminals now and you can use every one of them so the first thing you need to do is to use your terminal on your offline computer first you have to click on copy sftp command so you click on this to copy the command it is copied now then you paste it you don't need to do anything just right click and to paste it then you press enter so it's telling me now that it wants to get the key for the fingerprint so yes you have to type yes yours may not show this and if it's showing this please you have to type yes so that's it yes i just typed yes I don't know it didn't show up on the screen but i typed yes then enter okay take note i typed yes then enter the next thing is the password so we have to come back here and click on this password if you click on it it's going to copy it click to copy so the password is copied i go back to the terminal and to paste it on this cursor just click on the cursor then press ctrl v don't worry you won't see it you won't see it ctrl v but the password is there right now so enter so it's connecting as you can see it's connected now it's showing sftp let's confirm let's do ls ls enter so lx enter let's go into the home directory cd home remember we created a folder inside the home directory so let's see all the folders we have inside of home and as you can see the pressures i created on the web terminal is here right now so let's create a new folder also called um mkdir let's call this sftp so we know we created this when we did sftp so i just created an sftp folder so let's check and you see now we have precious and sftp on the screen because we just created sftp using sftp so you use this when you don't want to work with the web terminal you want to do everything from your computer because I find this very comfortable for myself too. Now you can close out of this if you are done with whatever it is you want to do and your changes will be saved on the ALS intranet sandbox on the current Ubuntu sandbox that you've spawned. So close. Oh, this is SFTP. So close and um, CLX is not going to work. So I'm going to close this terminal now. And let's go back to the next one so also to interact the third one is ssh secure shell secure shell also works the same way as sftp all you need to do is just to open up your terminal again let's do this with powershell since we've used the um, we used command prompt let's use let's do this with powershell so let me open up powershell so you see that we can do it with any kind of terminal so I'm going to run the SSH using my Windows PowerShell. I used Windows command prompt for SFTP. So now my Windows PowerShell is open. Let me increase the screen size for you because I know you can't see what is on my screen right now. So let me just make the screen, the font size 18. Yeah, good. So now the same process, you go back to your sandbox and you click on SSH command, which is copied now. And now that it is copied, the next step is, uh, something is wrong. Okay. So the next step is for you to open up the SSH terminal, the PowerShell terminal, and right click. Right clicking drops the, what you copied inside of the terminal, then enter. Now that I've clicked and I've pressed enter, the next thing is it's asking me for the password. You do the same thing, just click to copy this password go back to the secure shell and control v is in there already then enter so control v to paste the password sorry it says my password denied so let me copy it again copy it go back to it control v um why is it denying the password i can't type this i seriously can't type this so actually for you to put the password in powershell or a windows powershell just right click right click to drop the password 
in command prompt control v to drop the password in windows powershell right click to drop the password okay take notes so now let's check again what we have in our folder this is our online computer we've been able to connect so lx to see all the folders we have remember i was working in the home directory so let me open home cd home and let's check out the folders we have inside of um, LX. And as you can see, I have precious folder that I created using the web terminal. And now I have a new SFTP folder that I created using the SFTP, um, SFT, SFTP connection method. So I can also create a new folder here and I call this SSH to tell you that I created this using SSH. Now let's check it all. So you see, I have three folders that I created using the different system you can use in assessing your sandbox on the ALS intranet. So that is it, guys. And let me exit. So I've just exited and now I can close the terminal or the PowerShell. So that is it, guys. The three ways to assess your ALS intranet sandbox using SSH, SFTP and Web Terminal. So I believe it's pretty straightforward. And when you are done with everything you want to do here, you can actually destroy the sandbox. And it asks you if you want to destroy. Note, if you destroy the sandbox, everything you've done in that sandbox gets deleted. So I say OK, and I'm back. And now I can run it again afresh, but now with new data. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you run your ALS sandbox on the ALS intranet. This is Precious again. Over and out. Thank you.